A badass perseveres with patience, is flexible with their dreams, and stays the course. A fighter trains with the best and wins with a KO. Kelly Orchard's podcast for successful badassery. Turn up your energy with Fruitful Friday. Here's Kelly Orchard. Yep, that's right. It is Fruitful Friday and we can turn up our energy. Thank you, Bobby. I love having him as part of my uh, my badassery podcast team. You have no idea. Bobby Ocean is a uh, is a legendary radio personality. That's right. He comes from uh, the Los Angeles region. Worked with my dad in the seventies, and then uh, we kept his voice with us as our as our imaging voice with our radio stations for years. So when it came time for me to produce this podcast, I reached out to the old friend Bobby Ocean and asked him if he wouldn't mind uh, doing some liners for me. So we call them ocean liners. Yes, we do. (laughs) So thank you very much, Bobby. Uh, It is Fruitful Friday. I'm Kelly Orchard, the Badass Certifier. Happy to have you here. That's right. It is the last Friday of June, uh, which means now it's like officially summer vacation or summer time. You know, today on the podcast, we're going to discover that, you know, personal growth is probably the most significant and important component to what defines a successful life. So now are you deserving the title of badass? I've got free tips for productivity coming out for you this week. Uh, All this whole time, this whole week, I'm going to be giving them out. It's 10 tips that I've pulled out from my badass habits that you can easily share with your team, your roommates, your housemates, your staff, whatever, as we rebuild after our complete derailment, right? It's not only for business, but these are these soft habits that you need to develop new skills to cope, like badass habits are helpful for creating a positive mindset, which will ultimately flip the format on negativity, creating more happiness, energy, productivity, and success for you and those around you. So here we are on this fruitful Friday. And you know, I'm getting ready to go. I really I am I'm getting ready to fly out to Texas at the end of this month to spend the 4th of July holiday with um, my daughter and her husband and my two of my four grandberries. So I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of prepping because some of my my content is going to be coming from the road pretty soon. And you know, it's like, so on this fruitful Friday, I'm, I'm, I'm excited because it's just, a, it's just, you know, on Wednesday, I'm leaving, uh, and I'm going to be out. And so I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to that. And you know, we have to have some new badass habits in our lives in order to kind of rebuild after this derailment. So whatever was working for you before may not be working now. But what do you know about a badass? Okay, so let's just kind of redefine what a badass is. That's today's urban culture. A badass is someone who is driven by values such as wisdom, courage, compassion, personal growth, selflessness, and positivity. My 31 badass habits that you'll learn when you download the book are that you don't need to, they don't need to be developed all at once. A critical part of the process is a healthy mindset habits that are practiced daily, which leads to a successfully badass life. Recently, a client of mine was sharing about a moment of insecurity in a decision that he'd made. We'd been working on positive affirmations, confidence building, and visualization to reduce the symptoms of anxiety. I had given him a pin with the My License to Be Badass logo on it. I have stickers now. And if you get my Badass um, Habits ebook, I'm going to send you a sticker too. But we, and as we explored the affirmations that would aid him whenever he began to feel anxious about standing up for himself and setting boundaries when his boss demanded unreasonable requests. When a difficult situation arose and my client knew that there was going to be some sort of conflict, he pulled down the visor above him as he drove to the office and looked at that license to be badass pin he had placed there. It reminded him that I'm a badass and he could handle any situation he got in front of. He exclaimed to me that daily affirmations really do work when they're practiced, and that's a badass habit to adopt. The moniker badass is thrown around a lot. I'm hearing it even more and more. And it's often a way to describe somebody who has done something extraordinary or accomplished a great feat, has a confidence rarely seen in most people, gets the job done, is a problem solver. 
A badass is someone who has endured hardships yet hasn't given up. Someone who helps builds up others. And I got to tell you, if you're listening to this podcast, you are definitely a badass. So are you ready to be or maintain being a certified badass? You want to feel successful and oftentimes it's just a simple attitude adjustment in your life right now that makes all the difference in the world. When we recognize that sometimes the negativity in our lives is so strong that we don't know how to respond, it's time to make a shift. I teach you how to flip the format on negativity to be more positive, which will improve your mindset, build your confidence, and give you the attitude adjustment you need to rediscover your badass self and achieve the success that you imagine whatever your vision of success is. Now, I've been going over the whole badass acronym, and this month of June, we've been covering the uh, the S in badass, which is stay the course. But let me kind of just review for you a little bit in case you've just discovered the uh, badassery podcast. The B in badass stands to be bold, be brave, be confident, be yourself. I teach you not only how to be yourself, but the ways that you are different and unique. I encourage you to dive in and really discover who you are. The A in badass stands for attitude. I teach you that attitude is everything and how to start your day and maintain and manage a positive attitude. The D in badass is for deciding to grow and succeed. And that's actually a critical important ingredient to success, to decide to make a change and grow. And once again, the second A stands for awareness. You'll learn mindfulness and emotional intelligence and how to allow success to come. And the S in badass means steadfastly stay the course. That's where we are this month of June as we're wrapping up. This is often where we get hung up. If what we want doesn't come soon enough, we give up. And I tell you, there's been plenty of times I've wanted to give up too. But you know what? We have to stay the, cur- stay the course. This encourages you to stay the course and learn how to be flexible in your dreams and goals. And then the final S, (laughs) that's really simple. It stands for success. You'll learn what success means for you and and develop a confidence that's rarely seen. When we utilize methods from cognitive behavioral therapy, solution-focused, positive psychology, and neuroscience, that's what I'm teaching, you'll learn how to create your own badass soundtrack, which is proven to provide an instant attitude adjustment and personalized tool for you and my clients that they use to increase positivity and a healthy attitude. You know, fear surfaces when one has doubts in their abilities and talents. And this is what I often encourage my clients to do is learn. When you can acknowledge what's going on for you on your life right now, what are some of the fears of failure that you may have? Do you fear that people might think how they might think about you? Do you fear that you're not smart enough for what you want to do? What about the fear that people might lose interest in you? How about the fear that you haven't achieved any of your dreams and you don't even know what the future is for yourself or what it is you desire? How about the fear that you'll disappoint people whose opinions you value? Maybe you fear speaking up because, I don't know, maybe your ideas aren't good enough. Or what about the fear that everybody else knows more than you do? Or how about the fear that you're a fraud? In order to conquer these fears, we've got to consider our talents and abilities. We need to reflect on our lives, where we've been, where we are right now, and where we want to be. Being badass isn't about being macho or a curmudgeon or someone dangerous. It's not about following the crowd. Remember, today's urban culture refers to a badass as someone who is independent, competent, and persistent, a person who is responsible and courageous with a high degree of integrity and honor. So you might be licensed to be badass if you want to try something new. You want to set new dreams, start a new career, write a book, retire, start a business of your own. And you might ask, what if I fail? Well, name the failure. Face the fear that you might fail. And then let's talk about your fear and then flip the format. It starts with tips for productivity with some badass habits. Share them with your colleagues, your team, your team, your teammates, your staff, your friends. We are all in this together. And I've got the tips for the productivity. Uh, it's just a PDF file and you can you can grab it in my show notes along with the badass habits ebook, which uh, which I recommend for everybody. And the question is to say, are you stressed out at work? 
Well, I've got another badass tip for y'all, right? When we're ruled by stress, and who isn't these days? Who doesn't feel some sort of stress in some way? And you might be saying, I don't want it. It does prevent your ability to move forward. Not just talk about your stress and your work. Maybe you don't want to live like this anymore. You can develop the capacity to manage and use stress to your advantage. Your stress becomes distress when it becomes destructive. All right. And that leads to anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. And in my line of work as a psychotherapist, I see a lot of that. I see it every day, hour upon hour, people who are depressed and anxious. I teach them tools on how to cope with it and how to manage their emotions. Yet you may not realize that there's another way to handle the stress. So it helps to learn about positive psychology. It helps to build your confidence, which helps you think more clearly, which also helps to reduce the impact of stress on your life. You can choose to grow rather than disengage in the distress. And I mean asking for help because we don't always know which way we need to grow. You can decide to move beyond your comfort zone and look for resources to help you know. You know, we often talk about people about getting out of your comfort zone, and people get a little afraid of that whole idea about getting out of your comfort zone. Let me ask you something. What if your comfort zone is the stress? What if your comfort zone is the anxiety? What if your comfort zone is the panic attacks? I say that because who wants to be in that? But you're so used to it that you might just think that that's just how life is, and that's how it's always going to be. That's not necessarily the case. You just need some new tools. Now, business consultants always talk about how to make your business grow, how to successfully make a ton of money. And that's great. I, too, can give you checklists. I can teach you how to navigate networking groups, getting into making sales calls. I can teach you all of those things if that's really what you want to do. But the reality is when you start experiencing issues that are stressors and conflicts with others, it all comes down to how we see and how we feel, which affects the way we behave. So that's all personal, isn't it? When someone says, hey, man, it's not personal. It's just business. I got news for you. Everything is personal. It might be business. But the thing is, is that It's how you respond to it that's going to make all the difference in the world. And that's why I say promote perpetual personal and professional growth because they go hand in hand. When you're having problems at work, it's helpful to step back and see what you were projecting onto the person you're having an issue with and then what they're projecting onto you and how this is affected by something going on with you emotionally. That's the A in the badass, the second A. Awareness is key. So when you seek help and understanding for those issues that can't be resolved with another checklist or a sales scripted call, then you need to work on some of these other tools and habits for successful badassery. I've got practical tools that are appropriate information as you develop new habits that will help you grow. The, the how to get the, the understanding of the why is important, right? Okay, it's not hard work but it does take a process that makes that you've got to make an effort. So just remember that it's not hard to live a successfully badass life. It's not hard to be badass at all. You just got to have the right tools. So let's talk about the tips for productivity. All right. They are, you know, some of my, my badass habits. So basically you created them on a little PDF. You can print it up. You can send it to your friends. It's just like a one little one page and it looks really, it's a cute little graphic. And I would love for you to get that. You know, so the question is on this fruitful Friday, let's talk about some apples of wisdom as we head on into the first official weekend of the summer. So what do you mean when you tell somebody that you're a self-starter? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I always imagine that well, everybody's a self-starter. After all, does somebody else start your day for you? A dictionary de- definition of self-starter is a person who um, begins their work and undertakes a project on his or her own, her own initiative without needing to be told or encouraged to do so. So say yes to being a self-starter this weekend. Get that to do, you know, get that to do it yourself attitude. Sorry, I'm like Friday. Yes, get that do it yourself attitude. How's that? Revved up and know that you're capable of seizing new opportunities. Self-starters are people who embrace risk, reinvent their self-image, learn how to manage discomfort and overcome their fear of failure. So today, 
what I think that you should mean at home, at work, or in your community is just take the initiative on a project without somebody telling you or asking you to do it. It's okay to start out small. Confucius says, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence, the will, the desire, and the urge. Are you sometimes emotionally needy? Do you blame others for your unhappiness? Is it always somebody else's fault? Today, take some responsibility to depend on yourself for your own happiness. Here are some tips on how to depend on yourself for your own happiness. Be real with yourself. When we blame others for how we feel, we give them power over us. Use your time wisely. Don't let time use you. Join into activities that you appreciate. Take ownership of your day and depend on yourself to be productive, useful, and helpful. Depending on yourself doesn't mean that you have to go it alone, though. That's right. You can always share the knowledge and take responsibility for your actions, behaviors, and how you treat people. Blaming others only aids you in losing control. Depend on yourself. Now, as we move on into July, I know it's crazy. I have one more Wednesday wisdom and, and a Mustang Monday, but next month I'm going to be having fresh episodes of Mustang Mondays. Uh, start Actually starting this Monday uh, with my good friend Virginia Earl. That's going to be completely different. Um, and then all throughout the month of July, all brand new fresh episodes. I know if you've been if you've been riding along on the bus to Battisville with me, you've known that my Mustang Monday episodes have started out as videos and they are on my YouTube channel. You can check them all. Um, but because of COVID lockdown, I wasn't able to do many of them. So for this podcast, I've just been repurposing some of them in case you've missed them and putting them right here into this podcast. But of course, I've got some fresh episodes uh, that I've done with some of my Rotarian friends and some that are not Rotarian friends. Um, and I've got a special treat in one of them. A, a dog appears. That's crazy. I know. But uh, hey, I'll do anything to get somebody to get into the Mustang. And I have some very special guests coming up for the month of July. But meanwhile, today on the podcast, we talked a lot about your mindset and your mindfulness and tips for productivity. And I would love for you to go to the show notes and download the 10 tips for productivity for you and your team. You can send it to them and share it, share it with them. You can print it up, put it on your refrigerator or uh, you know, on the office break room and just give some people some positive encouragement to stay productive while we make this new transition as we all get back uh, back to hopefully somewhat of a real life. We went over the, the badass acronym a little bit and talked about what your fears are and maybe staying in your comfort zone and getting out of it. Weekend vibes, okay, what do you want to do? All right, do something good with your weekend, okay? Um, we, we went over some apple a day and talked about stress and de-stressing. And remember, you don't need another checklist of things to do, but you could be developing some new and fresh, mindfully badass habits. All right, so when you say yes to being a self-starter and then depending on yourself to do it, I promise you, you will grow successfully badass in that way when you're no longer blaming other people when your life's not going the way that you think that it should. It's like a little bit like reducing the expectations, but it's staying the course and being flexible and nimble because we don't have control over everything. So what tools do you need to add to your toolbox? I'd love for you to get ready to step toward getting licensed to be badass. You can find all that information on my website about the badass program, going through each and every one of the acronym as a course. It is a self a paced program, digital, and there's some group coaching elements with worksheets and everything to get you going on having all the tools in your toolbox to live a successfully badass life. More to come on that. But in the meantime, first steps first. You're already listening to the podcast for successful badassery. Now snag your badass habits ebook and let me send you a sticker as well. Just as apples are a core ingredient to a healthy diet, Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day is a core ingredient to living a fruitfully badass life. It'd be nice if life had an instruction manual, even better if it didn't cost anything. Well, look here, your free Badass Habits ebook is waiting for you at licensedtobebadass.com. Now, go out and be fruitful.